Hey guys, this is May, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to study up, not study, but prepare for exams. So I know that exams are kind of far off. For me, they're even um, right before Christmas break, which is a while from now, because right now it's only November, but um, November's going back fast. So um, before you know it, you'll be sitting in the classroom taking your exams. So um, I just thought I would go ahead and start showing you how to put together the binder and I'll show you a finished um, one when I have all my study guides and everything. So first off, you're going to need a binder, duh. Um, and if you don't feel like getting a binder, if binders are too much for you, a manila, a manila, a manila, oh my gosh, I can't say that fast, a manila folder will work just as well, but I prefer a binder. So today I went out to Office Depot and I bought a binder, which was um, only about $6, not a great price, not a terrible price. Um, I know it looks like dark blue, but it's actually purple, and um, my binders are always falling apart for exams, I don't know why. So I got this strong, this strong um, binding part, and it says it should last about a year, and it's ten times stronger. Um, never gap rings, so let's hope it goes up and it stands up to those um, standards. So, usually in the past, um, I have only had one colored binder and it was tinted and I wrote all over it. It was tinted green and it just, I don't know. But the past year, I have had white binders. So I've had a white binder for finals, a white binder for Christmas. Um, exam. I had to get two that year because this one broke terribly. Um, and see, I just slipped it in. May's exam binder for finals. Um, this one ripped really bad. Um, I couldn't put anything in this pocket. It was the it was ripping right here. I mean, it's kind of in bad shape. So I had to get a new one before. Um, yeah, I just had to get a new one, which was probably a waste of money, but oh well. And it was ripping up here. Um, I just, you know, I just felt like I might have needed a new one. But I have kept it just in case I do need it again. And then, as you can see, I always write on my binders. And this one I wrote all over, and you can see it's Christmas, and I wrote all over the back, I wrote all inside, and it actually turned out not to hold enough stuff. It was this one-touch D-ring. Um, I love the one-touch, but the D-ring, it was not working for me. And so this year, I needed a bigger one, and just, I needed to start all over. <laughs> so, I tried to get a colored one this year, so every year I can just tape it, um, the grade that I'm in, right here, and I've got to take better care of this. But anyways. So, when you open up my binder, um, it has some tabs right here, which I bought these tabs at Publix for um, probably 3 to $4, I'm pretty sure. Um, whoop. Just these little post-it notes, they're sticky, they're little, just to mark pages of your book that you might need to go back and reread, or notes, you know. And so, first off, I'm going to show you my color coding page. And what I do love about this binder is that it folds back all the way flat. So you don't, you're not having trouble like writing on your page, you know. It just, it, it works. It's like flat and it's perfect. Um, so first off, I have this color, um, color coding sheet, which I made up on um, the internet. And I can tell you all how to, um, in the description, I can tell you about how to do all this. But anyway, I just did um, May's exam color coding card. And I have, you know, the colors, the subjects. So I just did, like, blue math, green, Latin, yellow science, you know, stuff like that. And then I put the tabs. It was weird. I had the exact same highlighters that match my tabs. Crazy. So um, I put the tabs right here. And so I said the tabs that I'll be using. And then these are the highlighters. Whoop. I got these gel ones at Barnes & Noble last year for like $5, I think. And I truly love them. But I did not have an orange in the pack, which was a bummer. So I used this um, Bic Bright Liner. And it was what um, I had from a few years ago or something. But the only one I had left was the purple, which is kind of weird because I have a purple binder. So I can write anything 
non-subject related like my schedule and stuff like that in purple. So kind of worked out perfectly. So that's my color coding page. Next off is my sheet on how to prepare for exams. I always keep this in here just in case I need a little you know, encouragement or something. So how to prepare for exams. Start studying early. Instead of one week before, start two weeks before. Make an exam binder. Um, color code, which I just showed you with my glorious highlighters. And I can tell you down below in the description about where I got everything so you can run out and get them for yourself. <laughs> Next off, breathe deeply if stressed. I get so stressed in exams, I'm just like blushing already from talking about it. Like, they drive me crazy because I'm always like so stressed, but I'm so excited for Christmas, or I'm so stressed, I'm so excited about getting out of school. Um, so it just says my mind always goes crazy during exams because I'm like, I gotta remember all this stuff, stuff. Oh my gosh. Anyways, next off is think positively. Oh, back to the breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth will help so much. Think positively. Um, I don't know if positively is a word, probably. I don't know. Um, if you just think happy thoughts and just make sure that you're not telling yourself you're going to fail, just be happy. Um, think positive thoughts. So for me, for the Christmas exams, um, I, I eat a candy cane and listen to Christmas music because I love candy canes and I love Christmas music, so those work really well. So I just, today I bought a box of candy canes for like a dollar nineteen at, um, Publix, and they're like red and white and green and super cute and super tasty. I've already had like four, <laughs> and I shared some with my family, so, um, but yeah. And they're the big ones, not the little ones. I might get the little ones later if I just need, you know, quick stuff. Next off is study really hard. Don't put it off, but study really hard so if you do have to miss a day of studying, then you'll be prepared. Next off is make a plan of your studying days. So write it out. You can write it on loose leaf paper, um, copy paper, whatever you want to do. Write it on a piece of cardboard. Type it, print it, whatever. But make a plan of your studying days. So the days that you're you know, have most time, maybe study the subjects that you're worst at, or the most material, or just make a plan. So, Monday, you're going to study for this, Tuesday, that. So, you might do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, study this, Tuesday, Thursday, then switch weeks. I just said Thursday. Thursday? Okay, anyway. Then make your own study guide off of your teacher's study guide. So, take, you, uh, take their study guide and then write your own test. And, um, you know, just write, I say, I usually do 25 questions. Um, if that's too much for you, you can do 10, you can do 5. It just helps me because writing really helps you remember things. Next off is be ready and prepared for each and every exam. So use these. Um, if you guys would like a, um, if you would like some more tips, just leave me a comment below. Next off in my binder, I love the way it folds back. But, um, and this will be completed later on with, um, those divider tabs and, um, notes and study guides and craziness. But I will show you it, like, in the process when I get everything. But I have college, this is not going to work. I have me some college ruled notebook paper, because that's what my class, my grade requires. Um, or we write in co on college school paper, and um, that I just decided instead of going and getting um, wide ruled. I mean, why would you want to break it, break the law? No, just kidding. Um, I just wanted to stick with college rule because I feel like my handwriting is so much neater, and I feel like I have so much more space to take a ton of notes. So that's just some loose leaf paper. If you want to make your own test, take notes. You can take notes in your beautiful highlighters, use your tabs, use your highlighters, use your pens, use your pencils, use everything. So, um, leave any comments, questions below about some good ways to study, some good, um, you know, things to listen to on Pandora while you're studying, anything, where I got my stuff, um, how much everything was, um, anything like that. 
just make sure you like this video or don't like it if you didn't like it. But I hope you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to me, you guys, because if you see on my um, other video, it says it's a uh, not 100. I wish I had 100 subscribers, but I will never probably. It's a 50 subscriber um, little challenge thingy, um, which is kind of lame, but oh well. So, um, sorry this video took so long today. I've never done a 10 minute video. I just was talking today. Very talkative. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. But um, remember, comment, like, subscribe. Send me a video response. I never really get many views on these things, but I would love it if you like. And, and I barely ever get comments unless it's about a giveaway, so. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, and um, don't forget, I will show you the different steps of this later. Bye. Oh, and also, I'm sorry, I sound so stupid. Oh, and also, okay, so, um. Getting prepared early will give you more time to study, which will lower your anxiety, which is, it, I think that's what I have during exams. I'm a very anxious person. So, um, starting and going ahead, really good idea. So, go out this weekend, um, sometime this week, soon, and get your stuff. Um, okay, see y'all later. Bye.